The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Rangers will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Along the half wall with the puck. Sends it in front, and that goes off someone in front. Looks to make a play over to Raquel. With some open space here in the neutral zone. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Slides the puck across to Bemstrom. Pass to Fox. And here's a pass to Lafreniere. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. They've got some momentum here. He scores! Jake gets it with the finish. Great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. The Penguins couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight as they are on the board still early in the first. Yeah, they get their legs underneath them right from the opening faceoff. They get multiple lines into the game and they just kept building momentum. And they're rewarded with that first goal of the game. The Rangers gain control of the puck. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Crosby. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. And he loses control here. The Rangers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Passes out front. And that goes off the stick and off target. New York's ready to go on the attack. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. He grabs the puck here at the point. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Radish has crossed the line and is on the attack now. Shot! Tremendous stop by Shesterkin. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. And that's poked away by Graves. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Sends a pass over. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Jerseys, hats, keychains, you name it. Smartphone cases. They got you covered at the team store. Check them out online or you can visit it just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. New York's got the puck in their own end. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Directs it on over to Boyd. Intercepted at center by Hedo. Swings the feet in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Paul Marys gained the line and on the attack. Huge stop by Shesterkin. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Shekai. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Grabbed along the board by Boyd. And he slides it quickly to Rust. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save! This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Taken along the wall by Kucherov. Slides the puck to Shekai. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And he comes up with a stop there. Well, a nice save by the goaltender. Oh, scores! Well, the goaltender's gonna wanna have that one back. He put it in himself. Well, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it. It just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Saka. And called for the offside. We're going to face off. Gensel 
accuracy when shooting a puck that's flat and settled on the ice is his snipe zone ability, and it's what makes his shot so dangerous. Fox's tape-to-tape zone ability is when he sends firm, accurate passes to keep the play going for his puck. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. That's blocked. Goes right to the crease. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Portier's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Passes it to Gensel. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Zaka has been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident, he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. Puck picked up by Joseph. New York's gained possession along the boards. Lindgren stick handling in his own zone. Gains the zone from the right side. Blocked in traffic. New York's got a hold of the puck now. And now he passes up to Lindgren. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Poked away at center by Othman. Picks up the puck in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Schneider. Here's a chance to the middle. Another pass. Into the attacking end. Here's a short pass to Crosby. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped in period number two, and we are still even up. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? The Rangers still want to put that first period behind them, James, and to be honest, they're lucky that it's a tied game. They didn't manage the puck, they didn't own it, and they didn't make good first-pass decisions. They'll need to shore that up if they want to get ahead in this one. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Shesterkin's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some... opponent. The Rangers looking against the half wall. Fox has got it deep in the offensive end. Quick feed to Lafreniere. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Quick stop by Chari. Tries to the crease. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. Two here in period number two. Well, and I'd like.
like their complete game tonight, James, all the way from their goaltending right to their defense and then into their offense. They generated, they created, they played sound defensively, and now they've got that two-goal lead. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Puts it on net, and that's deflected off someone in front. Picked up along the boards by Rusichka. Handles the puck, and he moves it up to Schneider. New York's moving the puck through center ice. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Radish is taking it from his own end. The Penguins carry it along the wall. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it out of harm's way. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Dished on over to Rust. The Penguins played along the boards. Denied with the blocker. Slides that one right across the blue line. Way too much congestion blocks that. Shesterkin's gonna keep and hang on for the whistle and just slow it down a little bit here. As a goaltender, you always have to be mentally focused and ready to make a save, James. He hasn't been busy this period, but they're in the lead, so it's a safe play he elects to hold on. The Rangers win the draw. New York's in now. Here's a chance! Jari's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. The Rangers have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Trocek's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. He uses his paddle to sweat it away. He reads this play perfectly, James. He scores! Nice job to finish there on the play. Uh, he hits that 15 goal marker for his career, James, and you knew he was looking at that one. He wanted that one on paper. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. New York's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Takes the pass. Now a quick pass to Lafreniere. Scooped up along the wall by Benstrom. Huge steal at his own end. Puck grabbed by Paul Mary. Grabs control of it at the point. Taken by Lafreniere. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Raquel. Back to the blue line. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Works it across to Gensel. And the puck departs the zone. Into the up. Breakaway! And that one's turned away. Jari's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. Moves it quickly over to Fortier. And now he moves it quickly to Miller. Slides the puck over. From the neutral zone now. Takes it at center. Othman's got the puck. Here's a feed and right. He scores! The Rangers probably don't 
way things have played out here tonight. 100% agree with you. They got the mojo, they're moving the puck, they've got a comfortable lead. The last thing they want to do is have an intermission which can pause and give their opponents some rest that they need. Here we go, up man rush here. tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt the... They score! And a huge goal to try to shift the tide! Well, they're going to have to do more than that if they want to shift this tide. I don't think the coach is going to be very impressed with their preparation coming into this game, James. But they found a... The Penguins now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. There's a lot of work to do to make that happen. Takes the puck at the point. Pokes it away. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Oh, that doesn't go well. Flurry's got the puck and he's going to hang on. The Rangers are on cruise control here late in the second. Simply look at the scoreboard, the shot count. It is all one-sided. Picked up along the wall by foot. He carries the puck up along the wing. Broken up by Schneider. The Rangers have it against the wall. Slides it back to the blue line. And just a bit outside. Shot in front. Scores. And they get one back here. I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. You're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. Pittsburgh's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. The Rangers gain possession along the wall. The feed. Shot! Great save by Fleury! And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Penguins are behind in this game. They just haven't been on the puck. They haven't had their legs under them. They haven't been urgent, which means they've been chasing the game. Here's a chance at front, and that's stopped. <laughs> Trying to get back on the attack now. The Rangers get a hold of it. Lafreniere is going to play it against the half wall. Big time save by Fleury. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Big save. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. And he takes the dish. Fires it on net. Oh, CP scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck.
blitzes. D are going to have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating odd man rushes. There's a chance in front! And that's deflected off someone in front. Grabbed along the boards by Schneider. Scores! And look at that! They answer right back! Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. New York's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Crosby's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Ozone face-off, James. Critical time to gain possession with that clean win. And for the tired group, they get that puck moving around and a real opportunity on net. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, look at this chance. He scores! The captain leading by example. Listen, James, when he works himself into position to set up for that one-timer, if you're his teammate, you just find him and you deliver it to him. New York's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Moves it to Lindgren. New York's looking to break out. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Center and three. Scores! What a finish on the play! I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. 
team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and then just hammered their opponent. And now it's grabbed by Shekhar. it over to Gensel. The Penguins have it now. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Hannafin. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Zaka. And that's denied by Shesterkin. Quick feed to Fortier. New York's got it in their own zone. Here's a pass to Fultz. and both sides are back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to... Scores! There it is! The big 3-0! Well, 30 goals is quite an achievement and it signifies an excellent season, James. That's why not everyone can do it. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area, the puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. 
Pittsburgh's recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. And he takes the feed. Kucherov's moving the puck through his own zone. Centering pass in front. Radish has got the puck in his own zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And he slides it quickly to the premier. Drills him. Pushes it across to Radish. And now he angles it across to Crosby. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. James, as they all stick around in anticipation of this salute. A nice thank you to the fan base. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from Woodside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabolski. I gotta get to bed. See you.